This is the elevator at City Hall in Minster, Mass. It's a Dover Classic modernized to Impulse. And there's the buzz. The original, rare Dover Classic buzz. Water feet per minute. Dover modded by Bay State. Those are your buttons. Here's your phone. Down we go. The very rare classic Dover Buzz. It survived the flat slash custom impulse modernization. Here we are. Oh, there's a meeting. The door closed immediately. We love that. Lanterns survive modernization, and so does the bell. And this is the downtown Lemonster gauntlet that we are performing, courtesy of the new Got the old bump. Push the button, push door close, and door will close. This account and many others now qualify for unlimited video length. So this is not a rush thing, but we're not going to ass crawl it either. That's one. So we're going to attempt to do every elevator in the downtown area. That's one. Next up is the Gallagher building. And our loop de loop will end, you can't see it, the public library, ironically, across the street. So while I'm not dogging it, I'm not walking extremely slow either. There's the fire department and they got their reindeer lights up. And whenever there's people, the camera's aimed down. I have no idea what they did to this wall. They did it in 1986, actually late 1985. Old boiler room. All right, up we go. Now they installed this uh, Tyson crop, which is still Dover parts and all, back in 2001. And since I never came in this way, I never noticed this door. And the doorknob falleth off. Women's cafeteria was here, or should I say girls? Alright, this concrete wall was, was service, where they serve the food. And right where the elevator starts is where the boys' cafeteria was. Tyson Krupp Impulse. But it was still, they still had Dover stuff at the time. Because as you can see, blue steel. And it's nothing really to see here. There's your buttons. And the no phone. Up to three we go. Tyson Krupp. And since the thing's burnt out to the third floor, I'm gonna cap you now. It saves a little time. Not that that's the intended purpose. A little squeak there. Here are three. Slowly leveling. Nice gentle stop. Basement. Door closes after we push the button. Uh, we love that. Of course. 
This is what the wall looks like. Hook that in, there we go. And we'll watch the button because yeah, thing don't work. There we are. Dover. Yeah, it is a Tyson Krupp install. And there it goes as fast as it went. Here's the machine room. When there used to be a carpentry shop. When my father went here at junior high, that lumber door was where the lumber was. Out we go. And here's downtown Lemonster. There's the parking garage where YouTube's first ever man-powered elevator video was shot. In fact, shot both of them. And here's a bunch of homes which are now zoned for commercial use. Most of these are lawyers' offices, realtors, and a couple of various services. The brick building right there, the two-story, with a completely underground basement, is the former Grants and as we knew it in our generation, former Savatelli's department store. There was a Trax uh, Kids Club there, which then became Liquid's Nightclub. It was a rock place. And we got somebody. And we know what's in this building, don't we? It's the fastest elevator in the world. Speedy. Oh, look at this. Lights down. And Speedy's right here. No bell. Yeah, we'll get we'll get that pulley on the way up back down. And you might see it. No, you don't. Floor counter with men's, ladies, midgets. And we'll show you that later. Buttons, phone, this is a 1949 Otis, modernized by Meredith. And I don't know if we can see. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we'll do that on the way up. Here's a pinhole projector type thing. It's hard to see, but right there is the image of the skylight. There's your escape hatch. Here we are at one. Okay, right there is the pulley. It might be difficult to see. It's a tough angle. Alrighty. Let's watch this thing rocket. And away we go. It is a little dark out now, so yeah, you might you'll see a little something going by. Here we go. This was visible the last time. Yep. Yeah. This is just impressive. I mean. It's amazing what the human body can take for punishment. You know, look at how fast we're going. I know it's really hard to see because it's getting dark out, but... Here, three, which is really two. And we'll end it there. There we go.
This thing is way faster going down. I mean, I'm surprised this thing is able to stop. Alrighty, we're about there. And the tube is still burnt out. That takes care of Speedy. The world's fastest traction elevator. And close. Replacing a bulb or letting the place go. Now there is an elevator there in the Columbia building. That was a fluke. The door was left open and I took the opportunity. So that's a no get. We're going for public elevators. So then you ask, why do I do the Richardson building? Because the first two floors are public. Therefore, the elevator is also public. Now we're going to the Richardson building, where the Allen's department store is located. Again, no Santa riding the dinosaur, but this time they got a couple of lit wreaths up there. Now, there is a classic Dover there. Completely original. Let's see if it's open. Might have to aim down because there's usually people out here smoking a butt. Nope. But it might not be open. Here's the machine room. It's open. Here's the elevator, and this time it's waiting for us. It's got the original bumper. It's tiny. It's got the nice original handrail. It's got a couple of deodorizers inside it. Dover. Those are your buttons, as well as that one. 125 feet per minute. Floor counter, the old Dover logo is missing. Oh, I think I see a light switch. Oh, that's a fan. In there, okay. Lands pretty smoothly. Push. Door closes when we push the button. We like that. There's that. I guess we can see why it was left off. And the one's burnt out. There you are. Next is said Richardson building. And there it goes. And there I go. Next door to the Richardson. As I learned when I rode the elevator with the owners of the building, the original caged elevator survived till 1991 when the second fire did its damage. The actual, the actual car is still in the basement, stored away. And we got this hydraulic Meredith in its place. And it's sitting here for us. Hundred twenty feet per minute. These are your buttons, Meredith, and your no phone. Up we go. This elevator is a little bouncy. And again, it's pretty much relying on the old bird cage to hold it up, or should I say, hold it in place. So there's a little flex. And we're at five. And the rumble is the rust from the two fires that were fought. 
Door closes when we push the button. As we all know, that I like that. Actually, I thought this was real wood, but it's... There is real wood, but the, uh, the image is fake. I can actually see a repetitive pattern. See, here and this, look, here and this, and a third knot, here, this, third knot. It's quite convincing though, and I love the lobby. And there it goes, right on cue. Let's see if we can go across the street and ride the Tyson Crow up there at the Red Cross building. Here's the crosswalk. Let's play across the street. The Mark bus will stop for us. Thank you. The car just went by is parked on the it's parked on the strip. That's okay. I never do that. <laughs> That's a fail. That's okay. I don't expect this to be a perfect run. Here's Bank of America. They have a Montgomery hydraulic elevator, but I found out that this is actually private. Found out we're not supposed to really ride these for fun. The floors are supposed to all be locked off. And right there, the tan building, that's the library, and that's where we'll end. Next up is the woodblock. It's got a Series 1 Otis. And it's got nice pre-door. So here's the woodblock building. Finished in 1890, it was originally an apartment building with businesses on the first floor and the basement. After nine fires, Bavenzi gutted it and turned it into office space. Hey, take it easy, man. I'll see you around. Hey. On the floor. That's where close works. Yeah, I get a view later. Elevator photography. Oh, really? It's getting pretty big on YouTube now. Really? Yeah, one of my video, one of my elevators got 10,000 hits. Really? Yeah. Three door. Oh, missed it. Go ahead. Have a good one. See you, man. Door closes when we push the button. I like that. We'll get a cab view at the top if we can. This thing is quite bouncy. It's a really nice looking elevator. These are your buttons right there. Heading down. Yep. And that's the phone. That's your Otis. Lower level, I'm assuming. Yep.
least as much as a cab view as we're getting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, bad timing. Next up, 14 Monument Square. Or Manning Ave. And depending if uh, my computer is capable of handling such a large file, depends whether or not you're seeing this in standard def or high def. Since these are just ridiculously long for the bandwidth I have at, for my home connection, if successful, this is reduced to 720 by 480, 15 frames per second. That's enough detail. There it is, waiting right there for us. Series 1 Otis. What do you want? Oh, uh, five. Oh, good choice. Huh. Door closes. Buttons. Like the wood block, this one's under 25 feet per minute. Forgot to show you that one. There's the emergency phone. And there's the Schindler-esque floor counter, but the beep is accurate. And this one too has some nice pre-door. There's the Otis logo. Cab view. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a really good view of the other one. Let's go down to one. This one you can see out the door. That's four. There's three. Okay, that's two. And here comes one. Watch this pre door. This is beautiful. Nice. There's the Otis logo. And the machine room isn't nearby, so, and there it goes. And we're going across the street there. 29 Monument Square, I mean 27 Monument Square. That's where there's another Otis. It's the one that bucks really hard when it sits for a long time. Kind of on the wrong side of the street here. Uh, I'm thinking this might be a fail too. I'm gonna play across the street again. Oh, this guy's stopping. But what about these guys? This guy's stopping. Now we're in front of Sol Brazil. It's fun to say it that way. And right, oh, that's Wyman's Liquors. That's not what I was thinking I was pointing at. Remember, we're getting the public elevators. Private businesses and strictly apartments we're not doing. This might be a fail. I'm pretty much betting on it right now.
And that's a fail. And here's downtown Leominster in its glory. There's the wood block where we just work about a couple buildings ago. There's that building. Since we have the time, let's try the back. It's probably locked. That's the next one if we can't get it. Scanlon building. Westinghouse, modernized by Schindler. Okay, now we're gonna try and enter the other side of the building. Might be completely locked off right now. Okay, we're gonna aim down because we don't want to keep the spaces. License plates. License plates. License plates. That's good or English. Then they probably lock. Oh, we got in. That side's locked. But this side wasn't. And here's the Otis. And we're not going to spend time listening to the machine room. It's just a byproduct. Here it is. And we can't really go down. Fortunately, this elevator's been used even if it was just coming down. There's the original bumper, floor counter, barely visible, 115 feet per minute. These are your buttons and this is the no phone. Thank you for a ride. Yeah, barely a jolt that time. And there too. That floor counter is barely visible. See the door struggles to open. Go to one, hit door close, and door closes when we push the button. And there we go. Here one. There she goes. Again, so we don't get license plates. Waka waka. And we go across the street. Let's see if we can ride the Westinghouse. There it is. The Scanlon building. And there's the Westinghouse. And we're unlocked. Let's ride it. And it's here waiting for us. We get our cab view out here as long as we can because it's very dark inside. Here's your traditional Westinghouse beading, which is also on the door frames. However, it does have the infrared sensors, of course. Those are your buttons, and that's your phone. Get another look at the buttons. And where the Acme floor counter term came from, right there. You might not be able to see it 100 feet per minute. And away we go. Now we're moving. It moves a little bit and then it picks up speed. 2,500 pound capacity. I usually don't read those because they appear next to the counter or the buttons, but you can't see it. 
It's too dark in here. Here we are at three. Now we gotta stand aside, clock landing. Oh, no one's here. Vincent Cambasso. And that's why we wait, because the secretary sits there. And here's a view of the elevator with nothing more than just this light. So as I said, certain YouTube accounts that are allowed to go over 15 minutes, this one selected to be one of them. Rumor mill has it that those accounts with good standing will have that perk. Hi. And away it goes. Next up, Munster Public Library. Round it up. the, well, it's not showing up too well, but there's the Christmas lights. They replaced all the nice colorful lights, these bland white ones. And we get a talk because we got copyrighted music playing. So we gotta keep talking. There's the snowman that dances, well I should say the lights are dancing with the music. Which, uh, not very bright. They use, I think, 107.1 FM for the broadcast, which goes out about 500 feet. It's stupid because a very strong rock station, WAAF, is on 107.3. Not the brightest decision. And here we are, library, where this video will end. So we had one fail, which wasn't bad. Here's just your bland, more modern looking Tyson Krupp. If I remember right, it was a Dover. And the library should be open. Here we are. Monitored by security cameras. We'll take the Gen 2 man powered elevator to the top. It's a nice scenic man powered elevator. I don't show this one on video, or nor do I come here because it's usually crowded. There's the elevator. Look at the ceiling, who do we see? It's our friend security. Hi. Oh, it's hydraulic with series two fixtures. And we're at the penthouse level. There's your egg lantern, which is on the other side as well. Can't really see much of anything except for the wall. It is, it's an Otis. 
being permanently scratched out, 125 feet per minute. Your buttons, the rear ones are for the employees. There's your phone. Let's try the basement. Oh, locked out. Let's go to one. Here we are, one. Here's the up peg. Door closes when we push the button. I like that. As you can see, staff, public. And that's me walking. Leveling is a little off. And of course, like I said, the rear door is for staff employee service entrance. There it goes. Let's get one last video of this man powered elevator. Very nice looking Gen 2. I like it. Let's head down. This man powered elevator does not serve the basement. And you just get a look at the church. It's the only view you get. And this is the original library, 1910. I like that lighting. Guess what? City Hall. That makes a lap, and that's everything. Now, of course, there's close elevators nearby, but we only did the downtown ones. And we're going to cross the street again. They couldn't stop. And we'll draw this to a close because, as I said, we have now officially went one lap and recorded all the public elevators I know of downtown Leominster. That's it. And I hope you enjoyed it.